Alrighty, I was gonna shoot a drill with a Bodyguard 2.0, but then the ammo I had had a bunch of uh, reliability issues. So I'm gonna do a proper reliability testing with that ammo. I did re-lube the gun, not that it was dry or anything, but just to give it a little bit more of a chance here. But the load in particular is the Fiocchi Defense Dynamics. It's a, I think a 95 grain bullet. It's very aggressive for the shape of the bullet. It's one that's worked fine in both the LCP and the G42. It's not a load that I would carry, but it's a load that I like as like as I call it the range FMJ. Something that's not got great terminal performance most likely, but leaves nice clean holes in paper when you're shooting targets, and is generally a little bit more reliable. Well, I had like three malfunctions back to back to back, and I can roll in that footage here if I remember to, but I'm gonna do my my testing here to see if the if the gun just doesn't like this ammo. If it does, that's fine, because this isn't an ammo I would seriously carry, but I would like to see what ammo this gun works with or not. So we're just gonna draw the gun here, come up and shoot. Yep, so this is what it did before. I had a failure to go into battery here. We can see that it just didn't fully chamber the round. I give a tap, nope. I'm gonna give tap rack. That got the round out of there. We're gonna keep shooting. So, yeah. So one malfunction. I have 11 rounds inside the magazine. Hit the slide release, let's see if it actually chambers. Yep, okay. The slide release, I, I noticed that um, this is a gun that, it doesn't lock open all the time for me. So I'm used to slingshotting, like the G42 does the same thing, LSP uh, Max does the same thing. The issue is that when you hit the slide release, you don't get the extra little bit of rack back and then letting go. So sometimes a lot of these guns will choke when you try to use the slide release to actually drop the slide. So let's shoot this. Okay. So it works fine there. So I'm gonna say uh, this is a me thing. I already wouldn't recommend this ammo for carry just because I think the, the projectile shape is pretty bad, but I'm not gonna be shooting any more of it through this gun because it, it just feels like it shoots worse. Obviously I had a malfunction that you guys saw there on camera and I had some that uh, if I, again, if I remember to roll in the footage, I'll put it there. If not, I have still photos that'll probably be in the impressions article for this. So yeah, the Fiocchi Defense Dynamics, wouldn't recommend it in the Bodyguard 2.0. So thanks for watching.